In this video, we're going to look at two examples explaining converging sequences, but I'm going to try to use more real life terminology and it will make sense. So imagine we have a person who is saving money each month. The first month, they are going to save a thousand rand. Then for the month after that, they are going to halve that amount. So now they're only going to save 500 rand and then it will carry on like this. So we will get a sequence that looks as follows. So then they say 500 Rand, then 250, then 125. So imagine this was you and each month you are halving the amount that you save. Well, after this month, you're going to be saving like 7 Rand 50. Then the next month you'll be saving 3 Rand 75. Would you agree with me? And you can think about this for a bit. You would eventually be saving like 0 0.0002 cents or whatever. And you can't even do that because we don't have coins of that amount. And eventually you would actually just be saving zero. So what would happen to the amount of money that you have saved all together? So after the first month, you would have a thousand rand. After the second month, you would have a total of 1,500 and then 1,750 and then 1,875. And you can see where this is going. What would eventually happen to this amount of money that you have saved? So imagine this, you're saving each month and eventually we said that you will be saving such a small amount that it will actually be rounded up to or rounded off to zero cents. So you'll be saving nothing every month. So what would happen to your total savings? It wouldn't go up, it wouldn't go down. In fact, it would stay constant. That phenomenon where it stays constant, we call that a converging sequence or it converges. Okay, so I hope that that makes sense. Let's look at another example. In this example, we are going to look at the growth of a tree. These numbers are going to represent, they, well, they represent the growth of a tree per year. So in the first year, the tree grows two meters. Then in the second year, it grows for one meter. Then it grows a half, then 0 0.25 and then 0 0.125. So each year, the tree grows by an amount that is half of the previous year. So would you agree with me that eventually, if we had to go on and on and on, the tree would be growing by such a small amount that the calculator would round it up to zero meters. At that point, what would you say about the total height of the tree? It wouldn't go up, it wouldn't go down, it would stay constant. Because if we look at the height, the total height of the tree, for the first year, it would be two meters tall, then three meters, then 3.5, then 3.75, and eventually you're gonna be adding zero onto the total height. And so the total height will stay constant. So that is what we mean when we say converge. It's when the numbers get smaller and smaller and smaller and eventually they, the, the numbers become zero. And so the sum of all of the numbers stays constant. If you rewind and look at the beginning of this video, you will see that the, the example about the person saving and then also this example, both of those were geometric sequences where the numbers in the sequence get smaller and smaller. And in the previous video, we said that a converging sequence, what a sequence will always converge if it is geometric, but only if the numbers get smaller. So the numbers must decrease two, one, 0 0.5. Mathematically, your ratio must be a number between minus one and one. So what is the ratio in this sequence? Well, you're going from two to one, so you, you're dividing by two, but that's not what your ratio is. Your ratio is the number that you're multiplying with. Well, to get from two to one, you have to multiply by a half. So your ratio is a half, and a half is in between minus one and one, and so this is a converging sequence.